you uh, also talk in your book about ways uh, that men uh, can uh, keep their prostate healthy, which is very important. Now we're talking. Okay, <laughs> and it's, three things can go wrong with the prostate, and the first is enlargement. It mm -hmm. can increase as men age, typically in your demographic. It can also become <laughs> inflamed. What are you talking or, about? We're young guys. Uh, or infected, <laughs> and then obviously, prostate cancer. So one of the things that maximizes or optimizes prostate health is prostate massage or milking of the prostate. So I wanted to show you, it does sound a little bit invasive, but it is an important and part of prostate health and also can be erotic and arousing to men, by the way. So it's not only done by your urologist, it also can be part of your, your sexual play with your Spouses. You I might have to wash a lot of dishes no, to get this I don't this milking thing. should be in sexual play. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I but stimulate. This is the male G spot, okay? No, that so is. That's, 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 that's a uh, walnut in a condom. Yeah. <laughs> so wait. So this uh, is, a, you know, a, a metaphor for what the prostate is. So it feel it's the size of a walnut if it's normal sized. Hopefully yours is. Mm -hmm. And it feels sort of like the end of your nose, if you want, like a cartilage sort of rubbery round area <laughs> that's accessed okay. rectally. Oh, okay, accessed rectally. I think I understand what you're talking about. And you're saying that uh, a man should massage that you, area. You can't do it to yourself. You need a masseuse. You need a- There's a happy ending, I guess, if you can find that. But it's better <laughs> if it's done medically or as part of your um, sexual repertoire with your, with your wife. What if your prostate is 0. .03? Hello? Your PSA? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, PSA. so you saw, that means you are at low risk for prostate cancer, but I think you would still benefit from this, maybe just from the oh, erotic no about that, yeah. aspect of it. <laughs> yeah, that'll be a hard so, sell, though. Yeah. <laughs> To be honest. I think you're of a different generation because this is really important to know about because what happens is, is that there are calcifications that can build up in the prostate that can lead to prostate cancer. Yeah. So you either have to stimulate the prostate or frequent sexual intercourse or masturbation yeah. too. Well, that were good, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that that other stuff, that's not happening. Is um, it the same for the women uh, with their prostate? Well, women don't have a prostate. What? But they, they, um, they do have glands, uh, you know, that are the homolog or the vestigial remnant of a prostate, and they are important for female ejaculation. But that's a di we'll talk about that on another, the next time on that. One. I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, uh, now, what you see a, a, a lot of. Uh, men come to you for help, what do they complain about the most? What is their biggest complaint sexually that men have? I think um, aside from erectile dysfunction, which seems to be pandemic here um, in Los Angeles. Oh, I thought you meant here. <laughs> I'm being polite. I hear at this show, it's just rampant. <laughs> You know, I, no. feel, I feel like it is, because you are the demographic. Stop thing. saying that. <laughs> We're are. not that old. What are you talking about? It happens in mid to late 40s, early 50s. No, no, no. And then start to experience signs of male menopause. Right. What would be the signs of male menopause? The beginning of the inability to attain or sustain an erection. Right. Satisfactory for sexual relations. Right. Every time, right. on demand. I have giant breasts now. Does that mean? <laughs> that could be a sign. <laughs> also, low libido or decrease in sexual Good. Send interest. that that way, yeah. Um, <laughs> we're completely out of time. I'm sorry. We're so far out of time. Uh, this ended prematurely. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've milked this subject enough. <laughs> Blame him in his point oh three. <laughs> Secrets of the Sexually Satisfied Woman uh, and the Doctors airs weekdays. Check your local listings. And we have so much more to talk about, so please do come back and bring more crazy props. I will, for sure. And I want that pipe. <laughs> oh, here it is. <laughs> I'm in love. All right, Dr. Jennifer Berman, we'll be right back.